Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to demonstrate for you the double displacement reaction of copper sulfate and sodium hydroxide. Check this out. So all you need for this reaction are a couple of beakers filled with 125 milliliters of distilled water, about five grams of copper sulfate in one solution, and about five grams of sodium hydroxide in the other solution. Okay, once your copper sulfate is dissolved in the solution, your sodium hydroxide is completely dissolved, you're ready to slowly add your copper sulfate into your sodium hydroxide, and you'll see this blue gelatinous precipitant, which is the copper hydroxide, that immediately forms when you add the two. There it is. Just amazing. You can see that precipitant start to form at the bottom. Just amazing. Okay, what's happening in this double displacement reaction? You've got your copper sulfate, your CuSO4, you're adding that with sodium hydroxide, your NaOH, these are the reactants. And the product is copper hydroxide. That's the precipitant that you see, that thick gelatinous mass, and of course, sodium sulfate. Remember, in a double displacement reaction, you're trading metals for metals, non-metals for non-metals. In your equation, always write the metals first. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land. And I'll see you next time.